Actor Joel McHale of TV's Community, Talk Soup, and dozens of movies headlined a fundraising event for a Salvation Army Women's Shelter in Seattle this past weekend. The event, known as Gimme Shelter, raised $37,000 for the 24-bed facility. With continued local community support, officials aim to double the shelter's capacity. A Salvation Army Croc Center will soon open its doors in Memphis, Tennessee. For more, we turn to WMC-TV. It's here, it's now, it's ready. The Croc Center is ready to open. Salvation Army officials say the Croc Center is something you must see to believe. There really is so much going on. It's hard to describe all of it in a pamphlet or a brochure uh, or even in a conversation. On a tour Saturday, visitors got the first look at the inside of the 100,000 square foot facility. I was amazed at the design of the facility and the uh, expanse of it. The indoor outdoor community complex on Central Avenue combines the arts, recreation, and worship on what was once the Mid-South Fairgrounds. I mean, the whole, the whole time I'm walking through, I'm thinking, my students need to be here. Memphians came up with the required $25 million to receive over $61 million from the estate of McDonald's founder Ray and Joan Kroc. Construction was well underway until 2010 when an engineering problem delayed the project for almost a year. And it's just a few months away now from our grand opening weekend of January 26 and 27. So we're so excited. We can't wait for members to come on in and sign up. So this isn't our Croc Center. This is the community's Croc Center. For more information on the Croc Center program or to find a facility near you, please visit our national website. A commemorative plaque has been unveiled in Abroath, Scotland to mark the life of one of the Salvation Army's most inspiring figures, George Scott Railton. Born in Abroath in 1849, Commissioner Railton was later instrumental in the founding of the Salvation Army in the United States. Commissioner William A. Roberts, National Commander of the Salvation Army in the USA, says the Salvation Army in the United States will always be grateful to the pioneering work of George Scott Railton, the first National Commander. Railton's bold leadership immediately captured the attention of the American public. His fervent evangelism resulted in hundreds turning from sin and wasted lives. His organizational skills cast a sure foundation for the Army that still profits us to the present day. In closing, we turn to the Psalms. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all that he does. Be sure to tune in next week for more Salvation Army news from around the world. For Salvation Army Today, I'm Lindsay Fleeman. Good day and may God bless you.